Hi, this is Paul from Outer Loop Coaching and OuterloopCoaching.com, and I'm here to answer the question, should you sign to a record label? Record labels no longer monopolize the means of distribution, so do you need them? First, let me explain what I just said. Record labels no longer monopolize the means of distribution. What does this mean? It means that back in the day, the only way that people could buy your music is if your music was in the stores. The only music that was in the stores had to go through a distributor. The distributor would only work with record labels. So how did you get your music into the stores? Unless you did a consignment deal with every single record store in the entire world, which nobody could do, you had to go to a record label, get them to sell your album to a distributor, get them to sell your album to the store, to get them to sell your album to your fans. That's not how it works anymore. How it works now is you. That means you, the musician. That means you, the manager. That means you, the person right close to the music being made, can then upload the music to all of the streaming sites and the music is available for people to stream almost right away. There is no middleman with the distributor, no middleman with the record label anymore. So why, why would you work with a record label? Down below, if you're watching on YouTube, Put in the comments, do you want a record deal? Is it something you are focusing your career on? What are you doing to make a record label unnecessary? Put in the comments, and if you're not interested in commenting, at least come by and see what people are saying. It's gonna be really interesting to read. If you're on YouTube, go over to your favorite podcast catcher, make sure you're subscribed to the Managemental Podcast. It's the best music business podcast in the world. And guess what? They upload that thing to the internet themselves. It's the most awesome thing. All right, so what does a record label in the 21st century provide? It provides an experienced team working for your success. That means a handful of people who have experience in different aspects of the record business who are working towards making your career successful so that they can make money. That's the important thing, right? They have to know that they're going to make money with your music, so they're going to do their best to sell it to an audience, an audience beyond what you've been able to provide, or an audience that's exactly the audience that you're bringing to the table, and that's all they're going to do. They're also gonna, the record label is also going to have relationships it can leverage for opportunities for you. Leverage relationships that you do not have. Relationships that you might never get the chance to have. Relationships that they've been nurturing for perhaps decades. People who have access to other media who have access to audiences, who have access to festivals, access to booking agents, access to different aspects of the industry that they can leverage for your benefit. Industry and audience validation. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that even now, when the means of distribution are in the hands of everyone, it's still matters to a large number of people inside the industry and inside the audience that you have been validated by somebody before they will give you the time of day. And that role has historically been filled by the record label. So that is another thing the record label can provide, a track record of working with really great musicians, with really great track uh, uh, music, and therefore you might be able to do the same, and that's why they'll give you the time of day, that's why they'll give you the chance. A record label also can have a history of mistakes that they have learned from so that you won't make them. This is important. Every time you put out an album or an EP is an opportunity for you to make mistakes. And if you haven't had the chance to learn from these mistakes in the past, you may make them now. A record label 
hopefully has learned from all the mistakes they've made from releasing albums in the past, and they can leverage those lessons to your benefit. Now, build your career so none of these things are necessary, and no, you'll never have to sign to a record label. Make it so that you do not need their industry relationships. You do not need an experienced team because maybe you've got one that you've built for yourself. Maybe it is that you don't need the industry or audience validation because people have fallen in love with you without it. Make it so that you can make releases, release your album or EP and not make big mistakes. Here's a hint. Release it right at outerloopcoaching.com. Might be a way, just might be a way to do that. So if you can get all these things done, you may not need a record label. It's still worth considering because perhaps on your own, you can only get here, but with this awesome team of people behind you, you can get here. Guess what? There is a history of people signing bad record deals that get them down to here down to the floor, ruining themselves. So make sure that you sign a great deal. Go to a lawyer first. Go to a lawyer first. Make sure they read it, okay? This is Paul from Outer Loop Coaching. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for your time. You watch all the way to the end. You listen all the way to the end. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Come visit me at OurLoopCoaching.com. I'll see you next week.